Hello and welcome to another video. My name is James and today we are going to be talking about the new feature in Events Calendar 6.0 called Event Series. Um, event Series are similar to our recurring events feature that we've had for a while now in Events Calendar Pro. Um, however, it's actually also quite a bit different. There's just a lot of things you can do with Event Series that you cannot do uh, with our standard recurring events. So we're going to go over those features today. Um, keep in mind, this is a feature that is only available for Events Calendar Pro users. So um, if you're on the Events Calendar uh, free version of the plugin, you will notice some performance increases uh, with Events Calendar 6.0, but you won't be able to take advantage of this series feature unless you upgrade. So I just wanted to make sure um, that everyone was aware of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome series feature. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what this looks like on the front end after it's already been set up. We'll take a look at the series individual events. We'll look at the series landing page. And then after that, I'll walk you through how to actually create a series and create events and add those events to a series. So here is a pretty typical looking calendar with a bunch of events. And if I come into this event right here, Blood Drive Whittier, I'm going to click on that. Again, pretty typical single event page. You've seen this before if you've used the events calendar. But you'll notice over here is this little link that says event series and see all. So I'm going to click on that. And here we have a landing page for this series. You can see the URL is slash series slash blood drive. So this is a series called blood drive. And there's a description about this particular series of events. And then if you come down here, you'll see a list of all the events that are included in this series. Now, like I said before, this is similar to the recurring events, but it's also quite a bit different. So what is similar about it is with recurring events, you would create a recurring event that happens, let's say, every Tuesday for you know six months or whatever, which is neat. It was a quick way to create a whole bunch of events all at once. But unfortunately, all those events were basically exact copies of each other, right? And if you went in and tried to change one of those events, it would basically rip that event out of that, that series of events. So with the new series feature, that doesn't happen anymore. You'll notice right away, these events are not all the same. Um, so this one's in Beverly Hills, Alhambra, Whittier, Santa Monica, right? So, so they're all taking place in different locations. And a lot of them have different times that they're taking place on as well. So right off the bat, you can see how powerful this series feature is. This is not something you could do before 6.0 in the events calendar. So the other thing about series, um, I mentioned that you can create a, a whole bunch of events at once with the recurring event feature. You can still do that. And whenever you do that now, when you create a recurring event, it will automatically make that a series. And then from there, you have a couple options. You can go in and edit each event in that series if you want to, and it will not rip that event out of the series like it used to. Or you can go and just create brand new events and then add that event to an existing series, okay? So let's go ahead and just take a look at how to do that. Okay, so what I have here is a pretty fresh install of WordPress. I've got the events calendar 6.0 installed, of course, and there's some events and some series in there already, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through creating a brand new series. So I mentioned earlier, I think that there's a couple different ways you can create a series. You can go to events series and click add new. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you that. So I could click this add new button and I could create a series that way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a recurring event because when you create a recurring event in the events calendar 6.0, it automatically turns that into a series. And so in my mind, that's kind of the easiest way to do it. So if I go to events, add new, and I'm just going to go ahead and call this parent teacher conferences say probably would happen after school so maybe like 5 p.m to 6 30 p.m and i'm going to click the schedule multiple events this is pretty familiar to you if you've used events calendar pro in the past um, we're going to say happens weekly tuesday's fine ends after four events and then we'll say just give a little description here talk about your children and we'll click publish. So first of all, that process is pretty fast, even though I only created four events this time. But if I had created 50, 100, 200 events, it still would have been about that fast. It's pretty crazy the uh, performance boosts that you get with 
events calendar 6.0. If you've ever created recurring events in the past, you know that usually there's a progress bar afterwards on this screen right here. And you kind of have to wait a little bit for it to finish creating all those events, especially if you created a bunch. But with 6.0, I mean, it almost doesn't matter how many events you create. It's pretty much instant. It's really cool. And the front end loads faster too. So your customers will actually have a better experience uh, when they're viewing your calendar. So uh, that was the side note back to the topic at hand. We've created four recurring events. And as I promised before, that also created a series. So if we go to events series, you'll notice there's a series here called parent teacher conferences. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to open it. And then here I'm going to give it a description. And we'll scroll down and we can see the events that were created when we did the recurring event. And you'll also see this little drop down here. We can actually add any event that we've already added, that we've created, whether it's a single event or a recurring event, we can add it to this series, which is really cool. Something we haven't been able to do before in the past. So it allows you to create some really complex series that has events that, you know, most of the events in the series might be pretty similar, but who knows, you might have a series of events that's just sort of a bunch of random different events, completely different details, venues, etc. Basically, it's completely up to you what you do with these series now. You're not restricted in, in the way that you were before with the recurring events. So really cool. If I wanted to, I could add this dinner party event here to this parent-teacher conference series. I'm not going to, but I just wanted you to know that I could if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and click update and then view the series. So right off the bat, you can see that there are the four events that we created. There's the title. Here's the description that we added. So it's kind of cool that the series have their own landing page now. That's new. And it shows you all the events. And they're all the same right now because that's how recurring events work, right? Now, if you've used Events Calendar Pro before, you know that when you create recurring events, they're all basically copies of each other. And if you try to change one, you can do it, but it'll basically rip that event out of the series. And that can be kind of frustrating. It no longer does that. I'm going to go ahead and let's edit this one right here. Let's come up here to edit event. And let's say for whatever reason, you know, there's some maintenance going on at the school, so we can't do it at 5 p.m. This week, it has to be at 6 to 7.30 p.m. And I'm going to update. I'm going to say this event. So this looks a lot like a Google Calendar. If you've ever used Google Calendar, this process should be pretty familiar to you. Click OK. And, you know, while I'm in here, let's go ahead and give this one a featured image. And I'll update that. And then I want to go back to the series. And very quickly, just update these other events. I'm going to, oops, that's the same one. Let's edit this one. Let's add a featured image to this guy. Update that this event. And let's just do one more. Okay, this event. And let's go take a look at that series landing page again. So if we switch this to, let's say list view. Yeah. You can see we have four different events. Uh, one of them has a different time, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. They all have different featured images. One of them doesn't even have a featured image, but they're all still in the same series. Now, this is probably the coolest thing about series is that you can have different events with different details, different location, time, venue, and they can all still exist in the same series. This is something that was not possible before. It's something that has been requested two or three times, probably, maybe four. And we we did it. It's, it's a really cool feature. It allows you to create some really cool, complex calendars that just gives you a lot of options. Now, we are planning even more features than what I've shown you in this video. Uh, one thing in particular that we're noodling around in our brains is recurring tickets. So that's something to look forward to. All sorts of things that we can do now that we've taken the time to update 
the code the way that we did, it's really opened up uh, a lot of options. So I hope you are as excited about these series as I am, and I hope you're excited about the new features that are coming. I highly recommend, if you haven't already, go to our website and sign up for our newsletter because we always let people know when we've released new features. So when things come out like, you know, like recurring tickets, you know, you, you want to be the first to know about those kind of things. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.